successful dump run. <laughs> now to Home Depot. Curbside pickup. Waiting. Lowe's curbside pickup fail. Or sorry, Home Depot curbside pickup fail. End up having to go in to get it myself. Puts me out. Now we go to Lowe's. And we'll test them. I to go in there. I to get <laughs> Essential items being picked up here. It's our time we gotta win, and if we don't work, you can pay the bill. Demons all be damned, cast aside, enjoy the ride. They said we never learn, we never will. So dance around the fire, kiss the fire. Success, successful, I have to. <laughs> successful Home Depot and Lowe's run. So I got sauna tube. I got three of those. You'll see how I'll use those because that's not going in the entire hole, just part of it. So I'm gonna mix in tube for bath time. For mixing concrete, obviously. And in there is also some epoxy glue for the uh, anchors that go into the concrete for the posts and then of course you can't get enough mulch we still don't have enough mulch then we got some extra flashing this will go underneath on the bottom side of the ledger and then in the car I got some rubberized uh, flashing tape and nuts carriage bolts and uh, bolts nuts and uh, we're filling up with the COVID gas, cheap price gas. So might as well fill up now. Dollar sixty-nine here in Virginia, uh, in Northern Virginia, where we're at. But anyways, now we're going back to the house and uh, we'll flash up the uh, backside, put the ledger board on, start dropping the plumb bobs to uh, figure out where we got to dig holes. Here. but you can see how I'm laying this out so I've got a bottom piece of siding drip edge and then I'm using this rubber rubberized flashing it's window and door flashing but then I'm laying it layering it in the bottom up just so I get a good seal because when these lag bolts or whatever go through it I don't want to, um, you know, I want a good seal. So that's what we're doing. We're basically covering everything here. And then we'll do some uh, roofing paper on top, ledger board, flashing on the top, flashing on the bottom.
a little excitement in the uh, in the backyard. <laughs> this is the common area, so all of this back here is all common area. You can't build on it. Obviously, there's houses on the other side, but the neighbor's common area back there, there's like a, looks like a honeycomb. But my wife came saying it was hornets or bees or something, but they were swarmed. The whole sky was filled with them. And uh, for those who know know me pretty well, I can't, you don't understand. I can't get stung. Anyways, back at it. If you see me run on video, it's because the swarm has returned back to the honeycomb. But uh, Nala appearance again. Here's where we're at. <clears throat> I've got to do the rest of this. But I've got this flashing all the way up under here, tucked in. And what? Oh, I thought a bird shit on my flashing. But uh, not the neatest job, but it's gonna, gonna do. Seal up any things that go through it. And, you know, you got the house wrap under there. I just wanna keep, you know, wa I hate water. <laughs> I like the ocean, like the pool. I just don't want water in the house or doing anything. So I'll uh, finish up this side, put one down the corner. And then uh, it's probably overkill, but I think I'm gonna do the felt paper. This is like 30 pound roofing felt, tar paper. Tuck that up under, run the whole distance here with it. Probably even come down over this and cut it down even with this. And then I'll be ready to put the first piece of ledger board in. So that's what we're doing.
So we got it locked in, it's in there. Nice and, what is it, what's the quote from uh, my cousin Vinny? Dead balls thinner. I think that's it. May have just jacked that up, but uh, anyway, so, so you saw me, I backed out some of these uh, these were just temporary holding it in so I'll drill holes in but what I'm gonna do is take this flashing so it's a little bit different flashing This flashing is what goes on top This is much smaller almost acts as like a drip edge. I Did not do that last time doing a lot of reading and research and it looks like that will help with water that is dripping so this will fit sorry for the monkey cam like this up in there tight so if water drips down hits this edge and then basically it's got a little drip edge to come down so I've got this felt paper I probably did overdo the flashing protection but like I said before the last deck, the landing that was here, there was a little bit of um, some water damage behind. You could see the particle board, the sheathing side of the house was wet. Um, and so I, I don't want to risk that again with this size of a deck and all that. So I got this rubberized flashing uh, over essentially the house wrap. So when you're drilling through, it kind of makes a seal around that bolt. Uh, then I got that rubber ass, or uh, sorry, the um, 50 pound felt, roofing felt. So if the moisture does get back there, that'll help. And then uh, obviously you can see I am caulking inside the hole before I put the lag bolts in. And these are uh, stainless steel and they have a, it's like a ceramic coating that does not react with the pressure treated lumber so that's what we're doing let's get it done
Oh, he's a good boy. You're too tired. Come here, bud. You're too tired. Show you tired. Get that here, All right, ooh, it's bright. Sun came out. Ledger board, all in. I'll explain this little setup a little bit later, but it's all in, flashing on top. It's kind of like a drip edge flashing on the bottom. Staggered lag bolts. This is here for center mark. 19 feet, eight inches, and an eighth. My overall measurement was off by an eighth of an inch, okay? So I got an eighth of an inch extra of deck space. Eighth of an inch over almost 17 feet. Hey, it adds up, I'll take it. All right, so these are exterior facing joist hangers. You can see it doesn't have a wing like on this, right? There's no way you could put this on this edge because it would a wing would be hanging off. So these are like blind nailed faced in. Pain in the butt. My nailing skills, uh, my hammer skills need work. But uh, so that I'm gonna hang two by eights off of that. I've only got these three in because what I'm gonna plan to do hang this two by eight in there. This will be the support for it. I'll have to level it. But then what I can do is hang a plumb bob off the outside edge of it. And uh, that'll tell me basically the center mark of the post or forward, or it depends on where I put the, the string obviously, but that'll tell me where the post is gonna be and then where I need to dig. Okay, so that's what, uh, that's what we're doing here. Boom, head center. So, the deck actually has to go, this is 16 feet, it's gotta go out another seven inches or so from here. But, so what I'm gonna do is check this right angle um, with the old three, four, five deal. I think there's a bigger one, 6, 8, 10 maybe. Check that out. Plum bab. <laughs> <laughs> so that is as close as I think I can get it to where that post needs to be. This is, by regulation, here where I live needs to be 20 inches across. That's got to go two feet down. This is the eight by eight post. This little line on the outside is basically where the beam, so the, the eight by eight go up here. The beam is gonna be a two by 12 and the edge of the beam essentially will be there, which will be even with this two by eight there on paper and in math that's what we're going for so we got one hole marked out I have to build some sort of contraption I think I'll put like a 2 by 4 because this has to extend out a certain distance and then I can drop a plumb bob plumb bob down and make another mark where the hole will be so that is what we're doing, and my wife is supervising. She's got she's having a cocktail supervision moment. So that's what we're doing. This is a paint uh, camera view. That's two holes marked. Gun bun. Hi, buddy.
You guys met Nala in the last video. This is Gunner. Gunner's British. He likes his uh, afternoon tea. And Nala's the American lab. Nala. Nala. Probably, probably uh, nosing through the trash. Anyway, so we got two uh, two holes, approximates. It's not too far, so we got some wiggle room. I dig these holes. We're gonna have some wiggle room on placement of the posts. So I'm gonna put the the concrete, and then what I'll do is drill. I've got post standoffs, galvanized post standoffs that sit on the concrete. Those have two bolts into the concrete. So I'm gonna lay the concrete, let that set, drill the concrete, epoxy set the bolts for the standoff. So that final placement of the, um, the actual standoff and where the post will go up off of it. The picture, okay, this should be the edge of the post, this point, and in the center of it. So when I get to the point, I can, you know, I could put the post in, have my beam height and all of that, and kind of adjust this as needed. And then drill, epoxy the bolts in, and then when that's set, cinch it up, post, big beam. So there'll be another hole here, about here, off the center mark, hole hole uh, this hole will be about there uh, and then there'll be another hole right about where I'm standing here off of this post off of that post that is a big honking deck we went as big as we possibly could go that's the most space county regulations uh, have a six foot from the property line still um, set back from the deck so that would put us about here but H uh, HOA for our neighbor has a 10 foot setback so that's where we're going right up to that edge um, yeah and it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice and big and uh, I can see it now. Big old peak roof pavilion. Oh, it's going to be nice. An extension of the living room, which is right here. You can see Hayden maybe sitting in there. Squish her head. So it's going to be nice. Let's see if I can put these, uh, mark down these other holes before rain comes. And then uh, washes out my uh, paint. And I have to do it all over again tomorrow.
SpongeBob. All right, last hole marked. That's pretty good. So what you saw Chelsea and I doing was marking out six feet. It's just a variation of three, four, five. Three, four, five roll, get the 90. My wife is watching me from behind and uh, making faces at me. Six feet, mark, eight feet, mark. And then the bridge to the gap should be 10 feet. That gives you a 90 degree angle. So this way, you know, if this needs to come in or out, depending on whatever, this had a slight bow to it. I think it's pretty good. That's what I was using the breaker bar for. Just to push, cause it was bowed out this way. So I was using this to push it. So like I said before, I'll have some wiggle room on these, but these are massive holes. They're going to be eight by eight posts, essentially. So there'll be two, two, two by 12 to make a beam across these eight by eight posts going basically right there. So this mark right here, that is where the edge of the deck will be, right? Actually, it won't be the edge of the deck, but that will be where essentially the center of the post will be, of the eight by eight post. Um, this will come out, I don't know, a little bit further, right around there, but, um, basically massive two two uh two two by twelve um planks you know screwed together to make a um a beam goes across these and then three two by twelve planks sandwiched together sitting on these three eight by eight posts going this way uh so the sucker's gonna be solid. Like a rock. And I'm calling it a day. Calling it a day. Because one, we got movie night tonight. Two, we're grilling some pizzas. And you know, I just thought about that's gonna really suck. No stairs to get down to the grill. We're gonna have to walk around. Oh. First world problems. Anyways, 
I'll dig out these sand ones just a little bit so I don't lose the, uh, if it rains and washes out the paint or whatever. I don't have to do all that again. So at least I'll mark that with the shovel. The grass will be fine. But uh, tomorrow I'll finish this video. And then uh, tomorrow will be part three. This video will be part two. Part do dos. Tomorrow will be all about digging holes. So we could do some speed up. Pick some jazzy tunes. Speed it up. You go by just like that. Anywho, that's where we're at. Thanks for tuning in. I already uh, the first video went up uh, late last night or early this morning. Um, thanks for watching. Please make sure to uh, like the video, even if you hate the video, even if you only watch two seconds of it and you're like, this guy is annoying as all get out. Hit the thumbs up because that's what you're supposed to do, and then uh, hit the subscribe button. And then hit the little bell and you'll get notified when I'm putting these out. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Say goodbye to the puppies.